friends. How are you? I'm Mary. This is the town of Wilmer, about two hours west of Minneapolis, a farming community with a population of about 20,000 people. About 10 years ago, school administrators started noticing something about the children entering kindergarten. There was a significant school readiness gap between um, children who had been going to preschool, hadn't been going to preschool. But back then, the state of Minnesota did not connect records on children's health, access to social services, and preschool enrollment. So school officials were not clear on who was missing out on services that could help prepare them for school. So the United Way and the Wilmer School District began going on their own hunt. If youngsters couldn't get to preschools, then the schools would come to them by way of this little van called the Growmobile. The Growmobile started by taking the Wilmer School District's curriculum to the homes of family-run child cares. It is packed with books, arts and crafts, and even food. Not only were they bringing the school to these children, they were also linking them to other social programs. But after 10 years, community leaders couldn't help but feel that burgeoning communities were being left out. With our changing di uh, dynamics of our diverse populations, we knew there were kids out there that weren't getting served, and we, we needed to know where those kids were, what was the issue with the, the, them being served, and, and what needs did they have. Meanwhile, at the Capitol, the state was embarking on a brand new way to collect early childhood information to answer these same questions. The Minnesota Early Childhood Longitudinal Data System securely connects the dots as a child moves through the education system. Policymakers and educators get a 360-degree look at children's needs. Do they need access to preschools, food programs, or social programs? The data system protects the identity of children by showing population results only. And so we were excited that the state was embarking on an early childhood longitudinal data system in order to allow us to be able to really see a more comprehensive approach to how programs are serving children and families. The Children's Defense Fund sought to answer questions about access to early childhood programs. So with help from the Early Childhood Data Collaborative and funding from the Annie E. Casey Foundation, the Children's Defense Fund produced this report looking at participation data for lower income children and children of color. And so that's one thing that this data was able to show us too is that link between a child getting in the system in some way, shape, or form, and then getting access to broader services. And we highlighted programs that made those connections. Back in Wilmer, Minnesota's data system was helping the folks at the school district and the United Way confirm a suspicion that they had had for a while. The Growmobile was not reaching a growing Latino and Somali community. When we went to the website and started looking at and really mining into the data, it was uh, really almost exciting to go, okay, we see it, we know what's happening. Now here's the, the, the facts to back it up. With the information in hand, a liaison and a parent advocate, this little green van became even busier, building bridges to the Latino and Somalian communities. When we want to reach out and, and write a grant or, or reach out to a donor and say, we need your help, we need your support, or if we want volunteers, you really do have to have some factual backing besides just that inherent feeling that there's something going on that you're not involved in or that you need help. Um, ideas and thoughts are great, but when you have that data to back it up, uh, you can really make a case for what needs to happen in a community. And for us, it was getting those kids ready for, for kindergarten. Uh, the Children's Defense Fund of Minnesota is now armed with the critical evidence they need to share with legislators and convincing proof for other states that an integrated data system is a worthwhile investment. While I understand it is very difficult, grueling work to integrate data across systems and agencies, it will pay off in better outcomes, better policy and program uh, practices, and then you know a better future for the children and families that are involved in the programs. There has been a significant change, and we hear from the kindergarten teachers all the time, they can tell who has been in a preschool program, who has been part of the Growmobile program, who has been part of a high quality child care. Giving children, no matter where they're from or what language they speak, a foundation that can lead to success.
David J. Yeah. Nice yeah. job. Are you sharing that with him? Yeah. That's so nice. He's um, 18 months old.